walking, I'd be tripping, I got blisters on my toes. I'd be hiking, I'd be biking, I got sunburn on my nose. I'd be singing, I'd be dancing, I'd grab coffee on my way. Days be passing, count your blessing. I say, hello, how's your day? What's going on, gang? Baby boys, baby girls. Ladies and gents, welcome back. Glad you made it. It's another social production. It is June the 15th, 2022. We're doing it. Hope everybody's safe and sound. Hope everybody's having fun wherever you are in and around this world. Did anybody else take a deuce and then flush and then notice a little bit of residue on the bowl? So you went and did that second flush and most of it went down, but some of it is just reluctant and adamant to stay. And did some of you guys flush a third time and you're like, man, everything's gone, but a small little particle if you will and uh, did somebody crumple up a little piece of toilet paper and go elbow deep into the toilet bowl to uh, clean up the remainder me neither <laughs> I mean <laughs> that's what you guys did I mean uh, man that's not that's not how I go it's I'm, I'm that one flush kind of fella you feel me one flush that's it it's uh, you know what it is. Well, I'm not judging you though. I'm not judging. Let's say it happened. Let's say you went for that second or third flush and it's just a little bit of residue. Oh, you know, to each their own. I'm not judging, man. Use a bidet. That's why you have, uh, that's why you got the hired help. That's why you got the hired guns. No, wait, there's something in there. That's why you, you know, it's clean up your own mess. That's what it is. Clean it's bleach it, bleach it. It'll be all right. Things are good. Things are good. That's not how my day started. You know, I'm not, not, Trying to, you know, uh, I'm not trying to impose my, or, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, this is, I don't want anybody out there thinking that I'm out here, you know, that's, that's just what happens to the best of us. All right. No, no judgments around here. Let's, let's move on. fam. Let's move on. How's everybody doing? It's Wednesday. We're halfway through the month, halfway through the year. Time's flying. I'm... You know, let's talk about it. Today I want to talk about some silly fun shit. Some let's get funky today, baby. Let's get funky today. Let's get let's get down to business. I want to talk about haunted houses. Fam. It's just an in-depth conversation about haunted houses. Alright. Do you live in a haunted house right now? Whoa, okay, let's let's break it down. Let's go through the pros and cons of a haunted house okay let's get into it together pro of a haunted house you know if you live in a haunted house or if you're thinking about purchasing a haunted house chances are prices are going to be lower that's that's my guess you know what i mean so that's a pro if you're purchasing you're probably getting more bang for your buck that's a positive Another positive of the old haunted house. Well, what could a haunted house have to offer that a regular house doesn't? Uh, did someone ask for extra company? You know what I mean? Feeling lonely? Not so much if you're in a haunted house. Am I right? So there's a pro. You know, you want to walk in the middle of the night, go grab yourself a glass of milk. Wash down them cookies you just munched on before bedtime. Open a fridge, peekaboo, who's in there? It's a ghost. You know, it, it depends on what kind of ghost you want for your place. You know, is it like, is it a friendly ghost like Casper? Is it a, you know, is it a, is it actually doing any haunting? You know what I mean? What kind of uh, business are they running? That's what that is, man. So you got a better deal. You found yourself some company. Great conversation starter, you know what I mean? You have guests over. Uh, they're sitting down, you're you're sipping tea with like, oh, pinkies out and everything. Oh, ooh, let me let me pour you some of this English breakfast tea. Midday, dri sipping on that breakfast en English breakfast tea, dude. It's pinkies out and somebody's making a call. Oh, lovely home you've got there sitting on your couch. And you've been you're you're just You've been anticipating, you're so eager, you, you, it's been building up inside you. You're all, you're, you're, you've been jonesing for that conversation, fam. You're like, oh, I can't wait till somebody compliments the new house. And you're like, oh, thank you. As a matter of fact, it's funny you should mention it. Ah, 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 
uh, you'll make a screaming noise of sorts, and you'll be like, that's the kind of noise the previous owners made pre uh, prior to their, you know, somebody got sighted. Right where you're sitting, point to where they're sitting, where your guest is sitting. Somebody got sighted, homicided right there, where you're sitting. You know, to make a, really go for it, scream. Act it out. If you, if you like, you know, that's a great conversation to start. Goes like, oh, lovely home. Oh, it's funny you mention it's a lovely home. Because where you're sitting used to be a crime scene. How, how exciting is that? No? Just saying, man. Just saying. Regular home. No. Boring. Home that's been sighted in? You've been, somebody's been sighted? In your residential area? That, that's, you know, another pro. That's extra street cred. Street, are you looking for street cred? Get the house that's been haunted. That's what I'm saying, man. Another pro, you know, you could uh, easily charge people to come over. You know, it's a haunted place. Hopefully, it's like one of those, like, Famous haunted place, and you got you got a good deal. Something went down. Some spooky, or or some you know. M most likely it's spooky, but that's that's what it that's what that's a haunted house. That's what it is. You know, you can charge people seven bucks a person. Now you know what times it's you know what let's get inflated, dude. Every every you know what it's there's a. Let's get inflated with the time. Let's make it. 50, 20 bucks per adult. Yeah, yeah. Why not? It's your place. Charge however much you want. 20 bucks per adult. 10 bucks for the kids. N no, no. Kids aren't getting it for free. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Half, they're half humans. They're half humans. We charge half. They're barely even human. Child, ba barely even human. Charge them half, dude. That's all right. So, you know, an extra source of income that's another pro it's fantastic you know uh what are some cons let's go over some cons of a haunted house you know if uh but again it's how you look at it glass half full mentality all day every day are you the type of fellow or lady who has the most beautiful dreams and sleeps in the evening time you have, a, you have a good time catching that, uh, you, you get that rem in there, you, you remin, you, you up in there remin, you dreaming, you remembering everything too. Ooh, six to eight hours, who's sleeping? Who's healthy? No problem. You don't, you don't need to be counting sheep. You're that kind of fella. You're that kind of lady. Or you're like, man, I wonder, I've always heard people may sometimes suffer from such things as insomnia, having a difficult time sleeping. And I want to experience that because all my life I've been going to bed just falling asleep. I don't, you know, I'm, a, I'm an easy sleeper. You're a sleeper. That's the, you're, you're that sleeper human. You know, uh, it looks like a regular human from the outside, but damn. You meet at the red light. Next thing you know, uh, yeah, what did he do? He's a sleeper is what they'll say. It's taken off. In the office. Working away, and then oh, you're working extra hard. Why? You you that sleeper human? We don't know what we're dealing. It looks like a regular stock human. Underneath it all is extra. So you're like, yeah, I want to try something different. I want to go to bed. Maybe be you know, maybe hear a couple of screams of my own. Maybe be awakened to find some you know some. Homicide paraphernalia just hanging about, you know, and maybe a loose rope, maybe, you know. Just somebody, you know, decorating maybe the floor panels with a little bit of red paint, a little bit of blood, who knows what it is. But that's, you know, and, and you get scared. So that's like a negative, but also like it's also for this, this actually there's more pros to this haunted house than I anticipated, man. But you can get your money's worth. You can get your money's worth. What are some other cons? You, you having successful relationships? 
Are you having a good time with your, did you just get married? Did you just get married and you're like, you know what? We didn't spend too much money on the wedding. We even skipped the honeymoon because we're smart. We're fiscally smart. We're that fiscally smart and fiscally challenged young couple, millennial couple who's fiscally mind is on the money and the money's on the mind and the fiscally is mm, in there. So you're like, you know what? We, we'd rather save up and buy this property, invest right now. And, uh, but that's the thing. You, and you're like, man, sure, it's haunted, but we're, we're not the type of folks that'll let a little, uh, you know, friendly ghosts get between us. That's how they get you, man. So little by little, you'll notice a, a wedge is being driven right in, right in the middle of you and you and your loved ones. You and, you and your partner are now randomly having arguments, getting in each other's space, getting in each other's grill, getting on each other's nerves. And this never happened before. You guys have been together for three to four years. This this made this this was the move that made perfect sense. And again, you're that you know you're you're the type that wants to you know you want to be you're thinking ahead. You want to plan for a future. And you thought, oh, let me let me get in on the market with this haunted house. The great deal. Oh, the wedge. You know. Having, you know, you have dinner now. You have dinner, but, you know, the before we used to live, sure, it might have been a little bit tiny, but at least you had dinner at the same, at the same table. And the table was relatively smaller to what you, you're now in a house, in a, in a haunted house. It's got a big table. It's a large table. Not as large as the one Putin has, but it's, it's still large. And now you're sitting, afar, you're sitting far apart from each other. Oh, how was your day, dear? You know? All you hear is, like, screeching and squeaking in the background. Little faint screams from the basement, and it's and you don't know what it is. You, you, you think everything's normal. Again, how was your day, sweetheart? Anything interesting happen at work? And yeah, you'll be living your life thinking every but little by little. It's day by day, month by month. You'll soon start to you know it's probably dim lighting in there too because it's a haunted house. There's nothing you can do about the lighting. That's what it is. Soon you start to lose, you start to get a little, your skin starts, starts to change color. You start to get a little bit gray. You start to get a little bit extra pale. And, and this is for everybody across the border, generally speaking. You know what I mean? And you're like, not all people can be pale. Of course, everybody, everyone can get paler. You've seen them. You're like, I've never seen a pale black dude. I'm like, that's, a, that's exactly what somebody would say that's never been around. You walk around, man, you see a frightened black person, dude. They'll, it's, a, it's like, that's the, the melanin, it gets lowered, it's, it's lessened. You see it, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a matte black now. They're, they're, it happens to everybody, you've seen them. Yeah. So think about that. Melanin's being reduced, vitamin D deficiency, wedges being driven right in, right in the middle of the relations, baby. All of a sudden you're getting in each other's, you know, nerves and oh man, you start having thoughts. Thoughts you've never had before. And Things happen, man. I'm just saying, but that that's that's one con, I guess. You know, because it's tense in there. Oh, it's like, can I get a little bit of you know? And and in the beginning, the not sleeping, or at least sleeping, and then having to wake up to random noises around the house. First, it was cute, but you know, after a few months, you know, six months in that house, you're like, man, I'd like to be able to get a little bit of shut eye without somebody making a, a noise, or you know, the floor is not being so squeaky. Uh, I don't want to hear. Uh, small children in the background playing and screaming simultaneously. Maybe that's not my thing. Maybe, but that's you sign up a 25, a 30 year mortgage. You're in it to win it now. That's your place. That's not your place. You, you made your bed. Now you sleep in it. But you know, there's pros and cons to everything.
Would you guys live in a haunted house? Are you living in a haunted house right now? How do you know your house isn't haunted? How do you know your house isn't haunted, fam? Especially, like, here's the thing. You know, we think of a haunted house. Well, that's, you know, the, unfortunately, the name is a little bit misleading because you say haunted house, you imagine a, you know, a dwelling that's, that's a house. But other buildings can be haunted, uh, but they also go as the umbrella term that hides the other building. Like, what about a building that's haunted? You know what I mean? Like, a, even a building like the one I'm living in right now. You know what? It's not the newest building. It's definitely not the oldest building in Toronto, but it's it's got some years. And you just think and wonder throughout the years, all the people coming and going. What constitutes as a place being haunted? You know what I mean? Does it have to be a straight up side you know does somebody have to get homicided for it to be counting as a haunted place or you know homicide there's suicide what but what about like natural death what about like somebody's going natty somebody wants to you know somebody's be you're, you're the departed baby you're that natty departed what do you do do we leave the haunting only for the murked and You know the the suicide spirits. You know what what do we do, or do we open up? Is the is the playing field open to all regular folks? Because that's what it is. Because if, if we're counting regular life, and you think about all the buildings that are around the city, how, houses too. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, people just happen to pass away in a in any place. So you know, is, is your building potentially haunted? It could be, dude. I mean, like, if a building's, let's say, you know, 50 to 70 years old, roughly speaking, the few people you'd expect to have just, you know, they're on the couch one day, just, you know, and then the next thing you know, they're permanently on the couch and, until somebody has to come and, oh, ch check the pulse first, ah. That's just natural, old age, too. Let's just, you know what I mean? How do you, you know what, how do you get into the... You want to be haunting a place if you, if you want to be that you know if you want to come in from the afterlife is that something that's again only exclusive to people who've been murked people who've committed suicide you know because if somebody is living up to a ripe old age of 75 80 years old 90 years old you know they lived a good life in terms of numbers at least you don't know the deets and so you, you don't know the deets until you, you step into the deets so you know if somebody's lived a relatively decent life 90 years do they have any haunting left in them you know because if you go out like you know you're out there you're a kid you're seven you go out probably a little bit of haunting you want to do you know you didn't get your money's worth so you come back you tune in again why like a hologram or you know other means or you go out in your you know 20s or 30s you still got you still got life, you know, you still got, you know, oh. So, you know, after a certain, I don't think there are any ghosts that are haunting places past the age of, let's, I, it's not the, I think past 60, you're not haunting place. You know, you've seen enough, you've done enough. There's, there's no more, it's time to go into, you know, re reuse, recycle, baby. Next stop, a shoe. After that, a few years being a shoe, who knows? Maybe a tablecloth. After that, you're, you're, you're feeling refreshed. You've gotten enough rest. Time to come back as a plant. Next thing you know, you're a tree for a decade, two decades, and then they cut you down, man. They cut you down. They came after the trees, dude. They, they cut you down, dude. But event, you're kind of happy because through being cut down, now you get to come back as maybe a raccoon, dude. Maybe a little fly, and the next thing you know, a couple of sets go by. Next thing you know, it's like you know, 50, 60 years go. There. You're in the you're in the cycle. Now you're all, oh, all fresh, brand new. I, I think that's how it works. I'm not sure, but you know, things happen. And sometimes I think about that notion to whenever, like the other day, if you watched a episode of the show, you you noticed I captured a live animal inside this studio apartment, the compound, the headquarters the uh, the place of gathering and you know despite the fact that I, I if you, again I'll explain what happened there was a little bug on the curtain behind you guys you guys can't see obviously and I captured it in a little 
glass cup and I set him or her free. That's what I does when I when I can, you know. But uh, there's a little part of me that you know thinks I'm like, oh, were they trying to you know were they trying to do suicide by person? You know what I mean? Because if 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 you believe in the reincarnation, if you believe that at one point you're a bug, the bugs that get close and personal is that their way of like fam. And me, dog. It's like, and me so I can start again as something. It's like, oh. I'm gonna... So next time there's a fly right in your face, right in your grill. Instead of being agitated, instead of being annoyed, instead of thinking, oh. You know, instead of always thinking about you, think about that fly. And once, you know, think about if you if you ignore it, it's, it's trying to get your attention. Maybe it's trying to get your attention to do something so to trigger a next lifetime. So in one aspect, I said a bug free into the world uh, and you know saved his or her current state of being in another sense I set him back days weeks and in bug life days and weeks are like months and years so who's the good guy and it's so easy to point fingers and be like you did the right thing and I, you know deep down inside my heart I think so too man but you never know. Maybe he's just like getting into my space, getting in my curve, just like taunting me. You know, just, mm, mm. just you know, stretching his little tiny legs, dude, on my curtain, stretching his little tiny legs and like flapping his little wings, getting all cocky in my space. You know, I don't know what it is. Where were we, man? I uh, what was I say? Point is, point is, fam, that. Yeah, what constitutes a haunted spirit? Is there an age limit to it? Would you guys be down to live in a haunted place? Would you, are you living in a haunted place right now? You know, and that's the thing I think about this because it is, you know, funny a little bit to me because you hear stories, you hear stories. And you wonder about places. Are uh, I was looking at online. I was searching for haunted places in and around Toronto. There's a there's a bunch. There's a bunch. And I I passed by a few, but there's one more famous. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the hotel in Alberta in Banff. If I'm not mistaken, that's the same hotel that they used to film The Shining. If I'm not mistaken, double check that. But that place is apparently haunted. But you know. But that's the thing. How come what you know, it's how come certain places become haunted and then other places don't? We have so many people. Almost all places should be haunted in that case. So it's a little bit of, you know. I guess it constitutes as haunted if something like regular death doesn't register as haunted. I guess you have to be either taken out, you know, somebody else comes, they, you know, oh, let's, and you, and you think it's a, you think it's a normal day, that's, but it's not, and boom, next thing you know, you got whacked, or, you know, you, you slip on a banana peel, and you fall, you break your back inside your place, does that constitute as a haunted place now? I don't know. Think about it. Let me know, fam. If you like, write in the comments. If you like these videos. If you like to. Are you the type of person that's uh, chronically aging? Are you getting older by the day? Do you want to prevent it? Here's a preventative measure for you. Sit down and watch these videos with your by yourself, with the gang, with family members. And it's incredible because there have been uh, people have been writing making their own videos really ever since we started watching glad you made it we've been just years have been taken off our life like it's i'm not taking life away it's we're reducing we're promoting longevity 60 year olds who used to tune in are now 40 75 year olds are 55 guaranteed 20 years younger through watching these and it's so simple no more random, you know, eye creams under the eye. No more awkward visits to the doctor. No more having to wait in rooms and then be escorted into smaller rooms. No more pap smear. 
no more you know you're, you're you're like oh i just want to get a couple of years removed or you know gained i, I want to gain a couple of more years do i need to do that? Does a doctor need to finger me every time I need to gain a couple of years? No, no, they don't, dude. It's fine. Watch these videos. You got yourself a minimum 20 years extra. Because that's what I do. I don't hold back. You know, it's because uh, I got it. I, I gives it. That's what it does. Just, just a giver like that. You know, that, that's, that's what I do. You know, if you have a haunted place, if it's like semi haunted, it's not like fully haunted, dude, you could add into the story. Let's say you have the guests over. Dude, fill up a couple of bedrooms with blood. Again, like the shine, just fill it up with blood, fam. Just fill it up with blood and let your guests just stumble upon a room filled with blood. How, like, how many levels are you hitting them with it? So many emotions. They're one, one they're entertained. For sure they're entertained, dude. You go neck deep in a pool of blood that you didn't ask for, entertain, okay? Uh, surprised, for sure. Surprised, for sure. Shocked a little bit, maybe. Repulsed, absolutely. Hell yeah. Mesmerized, for sure, isn't it? Uh, you get a, you, you probably get an extreme dose of adrenaline because you're not like, oh man, just want to check out the bathroom upstairs. Now I'm in room filled with blood up to my neck. So, you know, so many experiences and you're providing these for your, every time you've been in a house, you're like, ah, I'm gonna sit down and have a couple of beers, maybe watch a little TV, maybe have a little chat at root. But have you ever walked into a bathroom filled with blood all of it? No. And then you're like, how do I get that kind of, you know, where, where does one get, it doesn't have to be real blood, fam, think outside the box. It doesn't have to be clean, it doesn't have to be purified, it doesn't even have to be human. It could be cow's blood, it could be pig's blood, it could literally be any animal, any animal, endangered animals, all oh, the blood, the more endangered the animal, the more real the experience. Or you don't want to do any animals, you don't want to do any animal cruelty, you're like, oh, I don't want to do any animal cruelty. And to that I say, I get it. Makes sense. The most sense. Paint, baby, red paint. All day, every day, red paint. But don't tell them that's red paint. It's like, oh, let them taste it and find out for themselves. You're like, floating in there, just oh, red paint all the way up to the neck. And they're like, is this blood? And you're like, the only way to find out is to taste it. So ask yourselves every, every, every now and again, I, what kind of host do you want to be? Do you want to be that regular host? Or do you want to be that host that, you know, you give them something to remember, differentiate. So they remember out of all the houses they've been to, out of all the places they've visited, out of all the hosts they've had, they're going to remember you. Don't you want to be remembered? Isn't that what life is all about? Not really. It's mostly about, you know, being present. Well, how do you make sure you're really present? By well, making an entrance, no, making an exit, no. Making it so that people have a good time. And nothing says a good time like a haunted house, dude. Regular houses, I don't wanna come to your house. If, if it's not haunted, if a couple of people in the past have not, you know, cause that's what it is. You hear a story about a hotel you know, where was I? I forget this place. I think it was a hotel in Ottawa. Got to check in. There's a whole bunch of places. Hotel in Ottawa. And the story went something along the lines of there was a lady who used to work at the hotel. She had a love interest. She got rejected somehow by the love interest or something. And then she decided to hang herself, which is no bueno, obviously, for, you know. But... In terms of the haunted house, she's now haunting the place. There's that story, but there's also another alternative story as to why she committed suicide. I think it was, maybe she was having an affair with somebody, somebody who was like a little bit of like a, you know, 
I forget the deets, dude. It was like a special person or something. Not that everybody's special, but like, you know what I mean? It's one of those like, oh, back in the day, like, oh, somebody's from a different class. Somebody's like, you know, a little bit elite. Somebody's not so elite. You know, they rub one out. Next thing you know, oh, what a scandal. And then murder, suicide. So it's like, so there's that hotel that's in Ottawa, if I'm not mistaken. And then, you know, you, you hear stories. You hear stories where like, again, what, why, would, why wouldn't regular people hang out and haunt the places? You know what I mean? Just streets, just everyday streets. Like on, think about all the number of accidents you know what I mean? Like the the accidents, the uh, the falls, the trips. You know, people fall and trip. The, so, but I guess that says something about our nature in terms of like our. I guess we're not that majority of people are not into. You know, haunting. Like you know, they're not. Majority of people are like, chill. Majority of people are cool. Not to say though, like, but that's the thing. If we don't have the ones that like do the haunt, uh, we we lose the haunted houses. So we need a few people to come back and give us a little, you know, some from the afterlife or the con continuation of life. Just life. It's just it's just continuous. It's just one. There's no beginning, middle, or end. So you know, think about it. It's I mean decisions that you got to be making, but save a lot of money dude you could e easily start a haunted house you know add to the story like i said nothing makes people excited like rooms filled with blood oh man and again if you can get animal blood god it's just because the smell the smell ugh, it's gonna be horrendous but it'll be worth it initially you're gonna be spending out of pocket right initially but think of this as a long-term investment i think it'll pay off and again, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your life or your business for that matter. So you do with your house what you will. That's all I got to say. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What else is going on, fam? We're so detached from reality that we fail to recognize there's no jam in our traffic. Yet we are adamant about saying it's a traffic jam. Not once have I seen a fella stuck in traffic and be wrist deep in a jar of jam. Where are the jars? Where's the jam? All the rave about the traffic jam. Come out to the traffic jam. It'll be great, they'll say. You show up like a fool with jars of jam stuck in traffic, dude. Your car's filled with jam. If you're like, oh, if you're like an idiot, dude, no one else is carrying jam. You're stuck in a traffic jam. Like, oh, I thought we'd be jamming together. Fun idea, fam. Fun idea, gang. Syndicate. I think it's time that we start using... Speaking of places, speaking of residential areas, speaking of activities. Is it not time that we start using the sewer system for raves? Hear me out, Shark Tank. I'm talking undisclosed areas. I'm talking discreet. I'm talking... Under the radar, I'm talking invitation only, but there is no invitation. You've been invited through a friend who heard, through another friend who heard, you guessed it, through a friend. And it's going down this Sunday or maybe next Sunday, who knows with these raves, but they're underground and they're in the sewer system. Guess what? Because we've always had raves in abandoned buildings. We've always had raves in Rave City. We've always had raves in someone's parents' home at one point or another, maybe, you know, but nothing brings out the whole experience like an underground rave, but that's actually really literally underground in the source system, dude. What am I talking about? I'm talking 
ankle deep in loose poop. Just, just a little, it's, 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 it's next level grunge, baby. It's underground, it's in the belly of the beast. Poor lighting, but nonetheless, we, we've got our glow sticks. Glow sticks in the sewer system. A couple of laser beams, dude. Fumes, I'm talking fumes. Who knows? You might even run into the Ninja Turtles, dude. All I'm saying is, think outside the box. And it's completely safe. You get inside the manholes, right? Plenty of, and there's so much room, because like people are like, oh, where do we go to rave? We want it to be like, oh, an experience. We've already gone in a haunted house. We want to rave, but we don't, a new place. You're looking for a new place to throw down a new rave? Underground sewer system underground sewer system we're gonna go down into the beast's belly and just start fucking oh man it's gonna be great and it's safe and it's raw it's emotional it smells and yes I know it smells which is like the key seller that's this the main selling point so any other time you can go to a clean venue and be like, oh, oh, gotta wait till the party really takes off until some, you know, but that's like, you know, it's, it's real. None of that. Oh, clean countertop. There's no countertop. None of that. Oh, I need to, nobody's wearing a mask down there. Nobody's, we're not concerned about it. Damn, then that's the thing. That's what we like. It's all about, you know, going deep inside the, and, and, I want to party inside the earth, dude. That's just what it is. Let's throw. We could do it, dude. I bet you there's some. Oh, man. Get into the, you know, get into the. It's a whole system. They call it a source system. It's not just like a unit. It's a system. It's probably massive. I, oh, I'd like to get a visual of all the, like all the tunnels and all the little sewer lines and everything, dude. Get it. And, and there's probably some, you know, areas that you could. No? Am I just the only one daydreaming about this? Okay, fine fine or maybe it's like the most popular idea ever <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's out there we'll make it a thing again invitation only don't talk about it but talk about it and guess what probably free needles free, just everywhere dude probably free needles probably some free condoms probably some you know are you looking for a tampon or a tampex, it's probably in there too. So somebody must have flushed them. You're not supposed to. Well, at one point, you bet your bottom dollar somebody did. And guess what? Reuse, recycle, baby. Get at the source. Why wait for it to be all like, oh, we gotta forget it. Just, you know, reach in there, grab it. It's yours. You found it. And them's the rules down here. Uh, down there. That's what I'm saying, man. And that's how you make community come together. That's how you grow. That's how you, you know, you're in there listening to all sorts of EDM. It's going in. It's, it's all, oh, it's, people are losing their mind. You're, you know, hungry, bang down for a quick second. What is that? Reach in there. Half a rat, dude. Half a rat. Just start going to town. It's, it's going to take off. I know it sounds but that's what they said about a lot of things. They, they said the same thing about Titanic and look how that turned out. They said the same thing about dancing with bulls and look how well that's been going on for generations. They said the same thing about snake charmers they said this believe it or not they said the same thing about snake charmers and despite the fact that it's a dying form of making a living you know because the, the, you know some say dying form of art it's questionable and also a little bit you know what kind of art is it but they said the same thing, but that doesn't mean in the 20th century, the snake charming business wasn't taken off. It doesn't mean that, you know, 
the East wasn't, you know, capitalizing on the fact that they've got a few snake charmers out there and it doesn't mean that they didn't send them out to other cultures and other places in the world so that they can charm the snakes and other people can come and visit and listen and view the show and, you know, get to know it's East meets West. But later on they found out, apparently, that these snakes not only are not being charmed, they've got a real hard time hearing stuff, so it's not like they're in tune with the music. They hear it, but it's like low pitch, barely. You know what I mean? It's mostly, I think they're in fear of their life, and some of them have been apparently defanged, which, you know, I, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a reptilian, so you know what I mean, but, but it is an animal, so they're defanged. Some of them, you're like, man, they're so well behaved. If you look, pay attention closely, apparently, some of them have their mouths sewn shut, which is, ouch, ouchy, ouch. Poor little snake is just like, he's, oh, defanged, depoisoned, declawed, sometimes skinned, mouths sewn shut, eyes wide open, Barely, and you see the thing, I like, and that's what it is, man. The uh, snake charmer is like sitting down. It's got the, it's got the little, and again, I don't know what I'm talking about. This could be half true. Sitting there, he's got the little pot, the snakes, like, and he removes the lid. And that's the thing, the thing that you and I see is the snake that's just like coming out, and is, like, and he's going out there playing that little flute that he's playing, and all of a sudden you see that snake just like that snake's barely hanging on that's that's as much energy as a scar it's not going anywhere it's not going to bite you it's not going to attack you it's not doing anything probably drugged a little bit too barely hanging on for life poor snake but also i may be completely wrong about this so you know somebody's got to make a living so they said that about snake charming too and look how well that had a spike at one of the centuries 20th century golden era for snake charmers we could have the same sort of peak and spike with underground sewer system. Oh, the sewer system. That should be the name of the band. If it isn't, it's been a patented, I think. The sewer system. Oh, dudes, ladies. Who's gonna check out the store? We're going to, we're going to the sewer system. We're going to the sewer system concert. Sewer system. Concert. Sources. The sources. The sources. That's what it is, baby. That's the name of the band. We're going with it. And if it's a thing, if it's already a thing, I support your band. But if it's not, it's our band now. That's right. It's a garage band. I'm going to start, sm start small, build big. Build, start big, go small. No, wait. Start incremental growth. That's what we're all about. Incremental growth. Inch by inch, day by day. You know, but that's, that's what I found out during the past 24 to 48 hours, Just looked into snake charmers. Apparently that was a thing, man. Back in the day, it used to be like a, again, an art form or something. And then people did a little bit of traveling. You could get visas and go places as a snake charmer designated snake charmer you know you went from places like that and it goes way back it goes back to like ancient egypt it goes back to india it goes back to some parts of asia not quite sure where it really started from doesn't really matter point is that you know it was a job it was a thing that you went there as like an entertainer but that's a that's a thin line to draw between regular person and entertainer you know what i mean and if you needed to travel let's say and you couldn't all you really needed was a snake, dude. Just grab a snake and start like beating its head on a little rock and then just throw it over your shoulder. Where are you going, fella? You can't be crossing these borders. I'm, I'm a snake charmer. I'm a snake. <laughs> Excuse me. Is it not the 20th century is what you'll say back then. And you know, you could snake charming. Snake charming. The next thing you know, you're across the border, man. That's how easy it used to be. So, you know, try it out. Try it out these days, see if it still sticks, if it still holds. Trying to cross the border? Grab a snake. What are you doing here? Snake charmer. Just uh, cross-pollinating between cultures. That's that's what I'm doing, is what you'll say. Hopefully in the, you know,
know, you're you're in the pursuit of, you know, because not don't get, you know, don't get a twist of family. And not to, you know, I don't want to come down because I'm limited knowledge. I, I should say a little bit on a positive note. The snake charmers used to be apparently, you know, a little bit like they used to be, from what I briefly read, like you know, they used to be in medicine, me, the old school medicine men and women. They focused on venom. You got bit by a snake, you got bitten by a snake, you go see the snake charmer. You know? A little dance, a little flute, a little snake venom in ya, a little snake venom out of ya. Who's feeling better? And you got a show for it too. That's, we should make doctors be more like snake charmers, you know what I mean? If I get something in me, like let's say venom or poison or whatever, you don't know, do like a low steak game of uh, releasing catch of the old ninja stars with no gloves and I, I got a little ninja star blade and it's just right in there between like the the ribs I, I can't take it out I can't because I've seen the movies dude if I take it out I'll just I don't want to squirt blood out of my ribs dude so that's I seek professional of course dire circumstances you know I'll, I'll be that I'll be that MD dude. You don't know me. If it's just if we're out in the wilderness, ninja star to the I'm gonna have to do some surgery, huh? I'll do it. I'll get messy, dude. I'll start sewing myself up and down. I'll put a zipper in, dude. Forget sewing. I'll put a zipper in because I wanna have access. I wanna know what's going on. People always complain about like their cuts. Oh, it's getting infected. Zip it, dude. Put a zipper on it. Why you gotta stitch it? You gotta let it breathe. Open it up in the evening, let it breathe. Oh, but what about my guts? They'll fall out. It's a little ninja star, relax. God, point is, it wasn't all bad. Maybe some of the snake charmers actually charmed this. Maybe some of them made love to the snakes. You don't know, you don't know. Maybe some of them were really like, you know, close. Maybe they weren't making love to them. Maybe they were just like their dogs, but snakes, snake dogs, for dogs became a thing. And that took time too. Dogs took time. And it's easy to look at one occupation and be like, oh, these peeps are not treating these animals nicely. But at the end of the day, it's like we domesticate all animals. So at the end of the day, it's we're the top dogs baby you and i decide who's the top we're the top dog uh, for the time being because things have been you know what it is i'm at any minute i'm just like okay we may not be the top dogs but till proven otherwise who's the top you're the top doc and sure you might be a power bottom or a power top it doesn't matter you're the top doc you're the top you know canine Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Who's a good girl? You're also a good girl. Good lady. Good good men. Good humans. And the point is, fam, that whether you're living in a haunted house, whether you've been thinking about a haunted house, whether you're thinking about a, you know, passive income, you've heard the term, it doesn't exist. I know, but this is a great way of actually getting some bang for your buck, you know? Lower price, get a little bit of a side gig going, it's income. It's not so passive. It's not so aggressive either. It's not agro income. It's not passive income. It's somewhere in the middle. You know? Passive income. Agro income. What's the word I'm looking for? It's just skipping through my mind right now. What's the thing where you're not aggro and you're not passive either? You're assertive income. Ah, there it is. Tired of not having assertive income? Get yourself a fucking haunted house, dudes. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 years off your life. Got you assertive income. Uh, looked at all sides of the snake charming business in depth, not really, but like we scratched it on the surface, on the belly. I'm scratching your hairy pits right now from the internets coming at you live because I'm alive. I'm not like the show's not live, right? It's alive right now as I'm filming. We will see it later on and I'll still be alive. Why? Because we've got each other, fam. 
We're going to keep on rocking and rolling. I'm here every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday. Nothing's going to stop us. The limited number of things that can stop us. Flying asteroids, you know, flying space rocks might have a chance of stopping us. Depends where it hits. We've been hit before. We'll take another one, baby. And uh, what else can stop us? A big old tsunami. But where I'm sitting in, geographically speaking, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Tornadoes not in this place. We're safe. So you're like, what can take? Literally nothing. Nothing. Unstoppable. Unless the internet goes down, which will suck for like a number of hours until we get it figured out. If it's permanent, oh man. Oh boy. But if it's not, hey, we're here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And watch these videos while you're getting that, you know. You're going to town, man. Just put you know, whatever you're doing, you know. You're manscaping. Put in the shower. Put your boy there. I'll, I'll talk. You shave. You know. Again, for the lovemakers who are loud in the bedroom, you want to just make sure you're not scaring the neighbors, put the show on. Crank it up. It's a great cover. What else? Your... You're like, man, uh, how do I, you know, I, I want to... I've been... I've been... I smuggle... You, this, this is what you say. It's not what I said. It's what you said. You're like, I'm the type of fellow or lady that smuggles pure fentanyl in one balloon and I put it up my rectum. I'm like, dude, that is not safe. Use two balloons to, you know, two balloons filled with fentanyl in your rectum is the way to, if you're dealing with that kind of stuff. Otherwise, I mean, I'm, I'm covering all the bases. Family covered. Politics covered, weather, climate, things are looking nice. Things are looking tight. Um, personal, societal issues, touching everything, and not being touched, which is which is nice. But also not touching anything either. It's it's been a while, but who's who's counting anyway? Who's counting? What's what's important is that you and I have got each other, and that's what it is, and. We'll leave it on that note. Spread the word. I'll be back here again on Friday. Love you, gang. Peace out.